Howdy, buddy, and welcome to Jurassic World, the game. Sorry, I just had like a second where I had to rearrange everything on my desktop and I've, I lost everything <laughs> in a big cluttered mess because I've got a load of audio files that I need to delete. But we are back in Jurassic World. Um, before we start, oh, I feel like I've always got these cliches. It's like, hello, before we start, now. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to say um, in the last video that I did of this, um, I mentioned about I was going through something, um, and it's still ongoing, but it's, it, I mean, I feel much better now. Much better. Um, but I, what I wanted to say was thank you to everybody that, like, um, messaged me. I got loads of people uh, reaching out saying that, like, oh, you know, it'll be alright, or if you want to talk to me. And uh, even somebody... Um, who was like an artist was like, hey, do you, like, I'm sorry that you've, you know, you're going through this. I'd love to send you a print. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you guys are so nice. So thank you so much for that. It like, meant, meant more than I can say. Like, I could talk for another 10 minutes and it really didn't do it justice. Uh, it's, it's still going on. Uh, eventually we'll get to the end of it. It's looking up. Um, that's for sure. But that's going to be the end of... Uh, I mean, I can't really say anything else until uh, finally... Uh, I'll make a video on it. Um, it kind of reminds you of that whole MatPat situation where, like, Defy stole, like, 1.7 million from, like, 50 creators. It's not that bad, trust me, but it just... It could have went that, like, in a similar ballpark. Not, not, not numbers, jeez, no way. Um, but you, it was just not good. Um, but it looks like it's actually maybe being sorted we'll see we'll see i yeah good. tomorrow it could all turn around and go to go to hell in a handbasket is, is the same uh, but in this today's video the reason why you've clicked on it the most popular series on the channel uh, jurassic world the game has uh, released finally the newest super hybrid after removing mono stegotops which is uh, I mean, well, it, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, ah, why couldn't they just be there all the time? But I suppose we got to cycle through a new super hybrid. It is the Sarcosuchus Sark hybrid with diplotated DNA. So if you need it, it's basically, it's a rare. So if we go on here. Um, there it is, the Sarco DNA. So that means we've got a car well, we've got two carnivores. Sorry, a carnivore, a herbivore, an amphibian, and I'm assuming this last one must be a flyer. Um, but this is the Sarcosuchus DNA. Um, we can go on info to have a look at it. Unfortunately, it's a rare. Um, and to unlock it, I think it costs. So if we find Di Diplotator, um, I think he's probably, I think I've probably put him away. Oh, oh god. Oh, so sorry. Major yawn, ha! <laughs> no, I should do. Ah, sorry. We've got the innovation center. Um, we need to go into here. We need to go into amphibians and diplotator and go to. There it is. So we fuse 1,500 DNA. So monostegotops was 2,000 to unlock. This guy, however, is only 1,500, meaning that it's usually half price. I mean, it's always been half price so far. So once we unlock it, it only costs 750 super DNA. Um, apparently people, I mean, there's hackers out there that have already got it, and supposedly it's not even as good as a super Kool-Aid, uh, meaning a, a cooler sutures level 40. So it's not something that you're really going to work towards, I suppose, and to be honest, it's only super DNA. So you get that anyway, and it's not like you, you're saving this Sarko Sucus super DNA for anything else. So, I mean, I can understand. Oh, look at the detail. I love this guy. He looks so good. I love, like, the the arcs, like, the curves on the teeth and that jaw, the way it feeds into the horns. It just, it's, it's a really good-looking dinosaur. I really like it. Um, <laughs> looks like hell itself. So, uh, we're going to collect our DNA, collect this. Um, I don't have anything to put in there, so I guess we'll hold off. There is some other new packs. Um, something about getting towards the statue, I think. If, if you if you need an extra bump. I mean, we'll have a check. What we got? Hybrid Hall. So, you've only got... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. Uh, 350, 350, and 350. So, yeah, that's 33 quid. And the perfect fusion... Which I think just gives you ingredients for other uh, hybrids, I think. And you have a 2% chance for a T-Rex. That's really the best you're going to get out of here. Oh no! Ooh, there you go. And then 250 and 250. So 28 pound. Again, these prices are ridiculous. 
I mean, <laughs> what what do we expect here? They're really blooming well, are <laughs> uh, Let's have a look, though. What do we have? Fight for fusion. So what's in this one? Oh, it's still Monolophosaurus DNA. Wow. Okay, so we get up to 20 Raptor, uh, up to 20 Monolophosaurus, then a 50-50. And then, the we you know, we could get up to 40 of something else. So we'll do this one. Oh my god. Okay, okay, let's back out of that. Let's see what the rarity rumble is. Yes, yes, much better. Let's start with something like this, please. <laughs> Blush, don't. It's too hot. So, ooh, I can kill it in two hits, I think, so we'll go for that. Uh, but I just wanted to say, like, a big thank you uh, to everybody who did reach out um, or mess with me. Even in the comments. Even, even, like, like, that means a lot. Um... And it's so crazy to think, um, I don't know, I just haven't thought about YouTube in a while. Um, and like, I haven't been putting videos out every day. So I've been, I feel like I've been living in the real world a little bit more um, than I usually do. Or like I have done for the past three years. Like, you live, breathe, eat, sleep, everything YouTube um, when you're doing daily content. Um, but, like, I've spent the last three, I'd say probably three days, probably on and off, like, working on an aisle video. Um, and, I mean, it's like half an hour long, which, when I think about it, is a long time for something that's so heavily edited. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with the aisle videos that I'm uh, pu putting out. Um, and I think you guys are, t I think you guys are enjoying them. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, I mean, that's why I do it, so you enjoy it. I hope you're like, oh god, more editing, oh, what a waste of time. Um, because it, it would be so easy for me to, um, just put it up and unedit it, you know what I mean? Um, uh, do you know what I mean, Lee? It's just, like, zero effort. <laughs> um, and, like, it, you know, it's so, it's so interesting, because... YouTube, oh, we've got a code 19. Yes, YouTube is entering in like a new era. Um, like when I joined or like probably started doing um, YouTube videos seriously, it was like Let's Players were the ones that would get the most views. Um, like before that, it was like skits and vloggers, I think. Um, but then Let's Play, when I joined, was like super big. Like Minecraft had just blown up and uh, there was like a lot of buzz around that. Um, and then, like, now we're entering this new, new era, or at least from what I've seen, where it's, it's content that has effort put into it, um, seems to do really well. Um, and I, this, I mean, it could just be me watching stuff that has a lot of effort into it. So I, lo I watch a lot of, like, um, maybe commentary YouTube. Oh, God! Ooh, dear. Oh, I could have done so well. Damn it. Oh, well, we only got nine, but we still get the ten uh, super raptor DNA, so not too bad. Da -da -da. Um, but yeah, like, there's a YouTuber um, who does, like, oh, I don't know. What do we call Like, tier lists. He's, like, z the zoo tier or something like that. And he, it's a lot of RuneScape music in it and Zelda music in it. But he puts a lot of effort into his videos. And I'm seeing that more and more. Um that maybe Let's Play has kind of died, or at least the original Let's Play has died. The genre where it's it's like just people playing games and zero editing and almost zero effort into it. Um, and I think the YouTube algorithm has decided that like, oh, the, this is like better content or people are more engaged with this sorts of content. Um, a, lot, a lot of people who comment on a lot, on a lot of like, you know, topics that are going on at the time, um, their channels are doing really well. Um, it, it just seems interesting because, like, there was a time, um, I think, like, if, it, if I just made a dinosaur video and didn't put any effort into it, it would do well. <laughs> like, it didn't matter. Um, but, you know, not, I mean, less effort, I should say. I, I, ne I never don't put any effort into what I do. But, you know, like, a cut and dry, I record it for this, um, for basically the amount of time the video is. I put it into Premiere Pro. I put a little intro to it maybe cut some parts out but that's it it's, it's very simple um i i barely do that only with app games um I, I tend to do that with just because there's so much going on and i'm just rambling <laughs> so there's no you don't i wish you wouldn't want me to cut that out now would you oh there'd be nothing to it you take the meat the meat away from the uh the video. um but it's just interesting like the I, i've wanted to throw my hat into the ring of 
like commentating on on things. Um, but a lot of the time, I'm like, there was a, like reaction videos. I think are still really popular. I don't know if they were as popular as they used to be. Like six months ago, reaction videos were all the rage. Um, and I was like, oh, I should do it. I I actually recorded one. I recorded a reaction video. Fun fact for people who don't know. Oh, look at that high. Oh, oh, we unlocked it. Clash of the Titans. Still got nine days though. That's cool. Hybrid showdown. Ooh, what's in this pack? Ooh, a lot of a lot of DNA. A lot. Of, I like the design of the pack. That's quite nice actually. Whoa, we got loads. Of, wow, we got loads happening tomorrow. Um, but we got to get the fight for fusion. What's in this? Is this as tough? It's actually not. Ooh, maybe if we've got some leftovers, we can give Clash of the Titans a go, as well as this, the uh, legendary pack. But really, we want micro SDNA. I like how it's called micro. It's a little micro transactions. Now we go. I want to use. I want to do a micro transaction for the micro super DNA, please. Make it micro. <laughs> so we'll do that. Yes. Sorry, gassy. <laughs> my bad. Um. So I did. I did a commentary video. Oh my god, I recorded it. And I remember, I remember as I was recording, I was like, this is, I can't do this. I, I like, I don't feel comfortable in myself doing this. No, I can't, I can't do it. It was a reaction video um, back when like Leafy was popular. I was like, wow, there's loads of people like coming out of the woodworks. I think you had Lu Luffy, you know, you had Leafy, that's an anime. Um, and you had like Pyrocynical and all these other um, commentators. And, you know, apart from Leafy, who's completely gone now, um, the Pyro's got really big, and, you know, all these other commentators have came out as well. Um, uh, uh, quite a lot of them British. I think it's it's our sense of humor <laughs> gets, gets the point across very well. Um, and I was like, yeah, I could do that. I'll be a, a commentator. Yeah, and I, I, I did it. I started a video. I recorded it, and it was on... This, if, if anybody remembers this video, because um, it cycled through the dinosaur community like wildfire, it was a woman who was, it was Christians against dinosaurs, and she was trying to debunk, um, like, dinosaurs don't exist. Oh my god, no! Well, we can always exit out, that's always the fun part. Um, and she was, oh, that's a lovely pose. Um, she was trying to debunk dinosaurs and like, you know, if, if, if you, this guy, if the museum gives you so much money to find a dinosaur fossil, you're going to take this rock and you're going to turn it into a dinosaur fossil. <laughs> it just seems so stupid. Like, it had to be a troll. It had to be. Um, and in the end, I, I, I think, I don't even know if it was found out if it was a troll or not. Um, oh, perfect. One hit, one kill. Uh, he has to go for two to kill me, and he's got four, so he might go for it. He might not. Oh, perfect. We've won. Fantastic. We, oh, no, we might not. If he's got five block, we haven't won. Uh, six there. Perfect. Um, and I remember reacting to it, and then I reacted to some other things. There was like a fall down compilation or something like that, or epic fails, and I remember just being like, I don't think I'm built for this. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, a person fell down. Okay. <laughs> or at least, like, I was very aware. Like, whenever you start something, like, any, like anyone, YouTuber will tell you, whenever they first start making videos, they kind of feel uncomfortable. They don't know how to sort of address themselves. In a lot of cases, they, they adopt mannerisms from, oh, there it is, Dip Diplo Suit, just level 148. Well, at least we get to see it. Um... And they adopt mannerisms from people that they look up to or they want to make content like. And it happens in all sorts of uh, mediums. So if there's a person that, um, you know, is an artist, he'll try and replicate a certain style from an artist he likes. And, and it's the same way. So if I really wanted to stick with it, I guess I could have done it. But with making content every day for this, I was just like, I don't think I can. I, like, I don't have enough time. And now I'm taking a more relaxed approach to YouTube. Um, like, just spending more time editing videos, making content I'm kind of more happy with. Oh, oh my god, look at it. Oh, and, and it's already swapped out. Ooh, brilliant. Oh, and it goes for... Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we can go for... Uh, we can go for two block and one reserve, because he can't kill me if he goes for three. And if he does, well, he's... Well, actually, I don't know if he's dead. Oh, he's dead. So we'll go for... Should we go for one block, four reserve? And if it does attack, then we just exit out. 
Because he's going to have four, five, sorry. If he goes for two, we're not dead. If he goes for three, and if he goes for five, we're definitely dead. So we're, uh, we're going to exit out of that before anything happens and we don't lose all of our points. Because we need it. We need everything. It's such a struggle. There used to be a golden age where, you know, I felt like I, I had so much DNA. I had so much books. And <laughs> just everything. It's gone. All my books, gone. All my DNA. I remember having like half a million DNA. And now I barely have a tenth of that. Uh, so one, two, three, four, factor in two. And then one block, one reserve. And perfect. Yeah. Two is a safe number. So here he comes in again. Bah! Uh, I mean, it's all right. I guess it does look like Diplocalus. Boosh. Yeah, we're going to exit out one more time. Um, I mean, the color scheme's okay. I mean, we can see what health and stats it has for level 100, but we're never going to get it that level, so... And I don't even know what the scaling's like once you get over those levels. So... It's not going to have 9,000 health. That's for sure. It's not going to have 4,000 attack. So, it's probably going to have like a thousand attack, if that. So, we may as well just go all out. If he goes for three block, we kill him. Perfect. Bam. Hmm, it looks nice. Maybe it's just the lighting. Maybe because the lighting is very orange and purple in this place. So, there's another 50. <gasps> a mission completed. And the final one, uh, we'll do similar situation again. Except this time, we'll use a... Uh, Indoraptor, just because Indoraptor for level 20, it's just so, you know it's actually one of the dinosaurs, when I do get another level 20, I might not fuse it to make a level 30, because at level 20 it's just so freaking good look at that, 3500 attack, I mean it would be really good to have a level 40, but you get it to level 40, you're gonna have to wait a week if not more, to get it back so I'd rather have like 4 level 20s, that would be so much better and technically and uh, they don't cost anything, because it's only super DNA which you just get. Um, and you can't use for anything else. So I'm going to go for one block, two reserves. Oh, nice. Uh, he can't touch me? I don't think he can... Well, he can touch me, like that, but he can't kill me. Ooh, -hoo -hoo! And he still can't kill me if he goes for one. So one, two, three, and then three reserves. So it doesn't matter what he does now, he can't kill me. If he tries to, which he bloody well did, whoa, 144 health. Look at Interruptor. This level 35 Pachygalosaurus. This thing costs a bomb. Technically, if you don't have an Indoraptor, it's like the best creature in the game, according to the game itself. Uh, so one, two, three, and then we'll go for one block, one reserve, just because um, we're going to die in one hit for Anglodocus, even though, oh my god, it's level 27. I didn't see that. Good grief. So, yeah, we have to exit out or else we would die. And let me tell you, Tijongosaurus is not standing a chance here. <laughs> so, do you guys do the same tactic as me? Because it should work. The only, the only problem is, because there was a raid battle not too long ago with a Juggernaut, um, the big Triceratops boss. But when you exit out, or even just close the game... You lose all of your, like, um, build-up to get the super DNA, so that's really annoying. Um, so they need to fix that. I don't, I don't know why. I think maybe they were trying to counter this sort of glitch. But it just meant if you close the game, you lose all of the raid uh, missions you've got. Ooh, and we've got a code 19! So 20, 20, 20, 25. Could have been up to 40 there. Um... I think there was, there was another one. It was like 500 bucks for 160 DNA. And even then, mm, I don't know. So, apparently, you can't get monostegatops anymore. Uh, it, it says get more, but like, it, it doesn't let you get more. Um, so, if we go into Dinosaur Market, we go to Super Hybrids. It's still there. So, if you have the DNA, you can get it. And we're still getting it in packs. So, I don't know what they were saying when they were like... Get it before it's gone. It's gonna go. And you can still get it. <laughs> so, uh, it's a bloody bluff was what it was. So, Indoraptor Monostegatops. Dip Diplosuchus. I don't think we even have that in Jurassic World Alive yet. Um, it might be coming. Um, I mean, we look at the stats there. 6,000. What? 10,000 and 5. You know, that's the difference. A level 20 to a level 40. It is... It's not even double the attack. And it ain't double the health. So, I'd rather just have another level 20. Uh, ooh, five DNA. Ooh, let's see if we can get a perfect here, boys and girls. No playing favorites. Dun, two, three, four, five. Quackers, right? I think it was Quackers I used to call this guy. 
Remember you putting the goose sound effects into the battles? Do you remember Unicorn with all oh, Unicorn Wizard the days? <laughs> Like I said, if you don't know and you remember Unicorn Wizard, the reason why I stopped putting Unicorn Wizard in videos, or at least the song, was just because I felt like, at the time, I was like, I was a little YouTube channel. I was like, oh, look, reference. That's so cool. And then I was thinking, maybe they won't like me like, <laughs> using Unicorn Wizard. So I kind of stopped that. Um, you know, I actually met Danny and I never... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> hey, Dan, is it alright for you? <laughs> He's like, you'd probably say it'd be fine with it, to be honest. Um, but I don't know. I was just like, ah, I'll stop that. It's okay. I enjoyed it. It was re I thought it was fun. And I, you know, put the little cool effects in and made it sound like when he got switched out, his, his little icon was still flashing. Um, I think that was, it was coming off the tail end of Jurassic Park Builder. And the thing, my, my, my practice was with Jurassic Park Builder, um, it was to make the game more interactive sort of so like dinosaurs or creatures like death panda when they got attacked they would just constantly go for the specials until it, until it wore out and they would never block um and it was just that was just something that you know they could have added to the game was like oh you gotta watch out he's got a you know this sort of ability um and the same was like unicorn was imagine they have their own intros and stuff like that um you know i remember <laughs> i remember when i made um like the Unicorn Wizard video. Um, and then Beston Slot, uh, he got Dimetrodon um, at level 40 as well. And um, I don't know, did he call it Unicorn? He called it a, a wizard or, or a unicorn or something like that. And then everybody started going, Beaver called him that, you can't call him that. Or they started saying, call it Unicorn Wizard, call it <laughs> Unicorn Wizard. And I think he actually got really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I find it funny. <laughs> I don't read good laugh at it. Um, I mean, I don't know what. You, it's just, it's just, it's, why did you get annoyed? For a start, like, this, it's just a game. I mean, it, it, maybe he didn't. Maybe, you know, whatever. I'm, I don't have any personal beef with him. I was just, I just find it quite funny that, like, he was getting annoyed at it. <laughs> oh dear. That's the thing, like, people like to make drama. I mean, we all like drama. We're human beings, for God's sake. We love a little bit of gossip. Um, we're social creatures. Um, but people always like to start more of a, of a, of a war um, between two sides. A team, a good and a bad, and I support this, and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, there, there never was anything with me and Best and Slot, really. I'm trying to think back. Because I remember us having to address it, and I can't remember why. I think it was literally because we played the same games. I think that was it. Which is crazy when you think about it. <laughs> you can't do this. Only he can do this. Uh, he did it first. Oh, oh, yes, that's right. I didn't even realize. I've just been yabbering on and we're doing the VIP pack. Well, there you go. Uh, so this one, we what's our, what's our best option here? A herbivore? No, an amphibian. I'm an, Aaron, an amphibian's the best... Uh, chance we've got here. So I'm going to go for these three guys and then I'm going to go for Ostoposaurus. And now I'm doing this tactic again just because I don't want to run out of creatures. Oh, they're doing the... Wow! The bass in my ears! I, I felt that. Because they both did their, like, their animations at the same time, which meant the sound clips were exactly the same. So it was like a proper big bass in my ear there. You probably won't even hear it uh, too much. So I'm going to go for that. Now, what are you going to do, Stegosaurus? Plates for days. Ooh, an all-out offensive, eh? Well, then. One, two, three. And then one block, one reserve. Now, he's probably going to switch out once Spinosaurus comes in uh, to his own Ostoposaurus, leaving him with two attack. And then he can only go for a max of one hit, really, if he does that. Should be very silly. Oh, he doesn't do it. Would you believe? So... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I could switch into Jongasaurus here and go for four reserves. Um, but he... Uh, I don't really want to risk it. Always! Always do it, don't they? They always do it. If I'd switch into Jongasaurus, he wouldn't have went for four. He would have went for, like, two. Like, just just an annoying amount to, like... That I probably couldn't do it if I didn't exit out. So now we got this in the bag. Or we should do. We'll probably go for two. Yeah. So he's got two block. 
Uh, we kill him in three. Two, four, six. So one, two, three. Uh, he's got two block. Um, and then, depending on what he does, because um, if he doesn't block at all, well, he's, yeah, Spanosaurus is going to have five, and he's going to attack me. Because he can kill me in two. I've only got three block, five, I'd be dead, so I've got to exit out. Because the bot will know that, and... Wow, Spinosaurus looked incredibly derpy there. And also, one reason why I don't record as often is because my voice just can't hack it anymore. Honestly, within 20 minutes of recording, uh, or like constantly talking, my voice is gone. So, I think over three years, I think it's had a damaging effect on my voice box. <laughs> Probably. <coughs> and it makes me yawn a lot as well, like... <sighs> but it's okay with the aisle, because the aisle's like short bursts of things happening, and the same with Fish Food and Grow, whereas like app games... Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just in my head. Maybe, I just feel like if I didn't talk, there's like no merit in it. It's just like, it's just playing a game, isn't it? <laughs> but, you know, that's me. That's... What was it? Um, oh, was it Whitney or somebody said it the other day? Um, they said, is is that... It was one of my friends, they were like, are you talking to yourself? And I was like, yeah. I mean, I get paid to talk to myself, so there's nothing weird there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so the best one we've got here, we'll do a very similar tactic again. Uh, and we'll just go for a carnival. So we'll go for Udon. Udon? Udon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 very funny. Ew. So we'll go for you, Doc. And he will go for two attack. And then, ooh, should we risk the biscuit and go for... I, I can't remember what Metrolong's attack is. I'm going to go for one block. I could have went for a reserve. But if he does have like 4,000 attack, he could have killed me, I think. No, well, you know... It's better, better to be safe than sorry, I think. So we'll see what he does. Oh, he goes... Wow, okay. He went for two, meaning he's got nothing. Meaning he's dead. Oh, this is super quick. Oh, Udon. You're a feathery bugger, you. I keep forgetting Udon's not an actual dinosaur. It's like, oh, fuck. I wonder if it's related to T-Rex. <laughs> what is it? Uteranosaurus and Trodon, is it? I think that's what it is. Oh, God. Uh, ooh, I could have lost that. I would have lost that there. Um, because he would have had like four attacks, two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it, it would be, he could have just killed me, I think. So I'm going to switch to Tijongasaurus. That was close. Could have been could, one mistake there. Let's have a look. So what would he have had? He would have had four. Um, he has about like 2,016 attack. Oh, 2,600. So yeah, that would have been about 6,000. Yeah, he would have killed me. I've only got 8,000 health. So yeah, that was really close. Almost slipped up there. There we go. Nom noms. So it's a bit of a shame that the super hybrid is not next level. But at the same time, um, I, I do understand. Because at least, you know, you're, you're getting the DNA. And it's not really costing you anything. All you need is a Diplotator level 40. And at least it makes use of it. Because... If, you know, sometimes we come across, um, ooh, there you go, some speed ups. We come across battles that are only rare dinosaurs. So to have, like, multiples of that super rare hybrid, uh, well, you know, you know what I mean, the super hybrid rare, uh, that crocodile thing, that'll be really good, really, really handy uh, to have. Especially if you've got only a couple of level 10s, they'll be leagues above a regular level 10 uh, hybrid, I would assume anyway. So, you, Gorgasu just doesn't have too much attack. So, uh, I'll go for one block and two reserves. Just in case. Morton! Oh, there's another nickname he used to have! <laughs> Goes for uh, two attacks. Which he, he went for one. Not too bad. One, two, three, and then let's see what he did. Oh, he didn't! That was perfect! Awesome. Didn't block for anything, which means he's going to actually have an attack for. Um, oh, that's good! So I can kill it in like two hits. So one, two, one block and two is He might have one block. Oh, he did. Ooh, let's see how this goes. One, two, three. Uh, and we lost. And we lost. Just like that. Evil Sorceress. Yes. Another nickname. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. 
Ah, the good old days, eh? I, I, I've probably mentioned that story before. Um, but, hey, story time with the beaver. Do you remember that at the end of the episodes? I used to just chat with you. Yeah, podcast. Basically a podcast. The, let's Plays are basically podcasts while games go on in the background anyway. I mean, you could be eating your tea. You could even be on the toilet. And I'm still talking at you, <laughs> no matter what you're doing. Do you think about it? It's kind of weird. But hey, it's just it's just a symptom of the uh, the human condition, isn't it? We need we need social interaction with things. <laughs> um, so ooh, one, two. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for two extra. Yeah, I'd I'd rather be safe. And when Giga when the Giga comes in, or Jig Giganotosaurus, Gigantosaurus, Giganotosaurus, whatever you want. Oh, just we we'll just get rid of that. Yes, you didn't see anything there. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I was saying. Oh yes, yeah, story time. What was it saying about story? Yes, who's going to have a voice actress uh, do a little bit for that. Um, but uh, she, I think she was just busy at the time. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, and I think she's like a professional voice actor now. Because uh, I, you know what it is? I, I've, I've actually recorded two pieces of her. Like two characters. And I've never animated them. Just because I don't have time for animation. And like... Those are relics, those animations. I th there's one, like, in progress, and I just haven't touched it in years. I was really proud of that one, actually. Um, VIP exclusive event. Is there anything else left to do? What lies beneath? But again, yeah, that's kind of tricky. Like, are you, are you, Lydia, do you honestly expect us to do this without doing this glitch? Look at that level. Sorry. What? Click it. Go on. Look at those levels. Five, I mean, the Metrophodon, yeah, I suppose. But then, and no, like, it's having three Metrophodons. You, you, what am I supposed to use for that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And the final one, to win a legendary pack. Oh, there it is, Coolosaurus. Level 130 odd. Uh, so we need a flyer. Oh, there we go. I think we've unlocked a mission with that. And we'll use Pterodactylus. Apart from Metrophodon, which I think I've already used. Yeah, two days left. Four days for you, Don. That's ridiculous. Um, you see, the thing was, with Jurassic Park Builder, you would use all your creatures for a tournament, and then, in on, like, 24 hours later, you'd be able to do it again. And it was almost like all your creatures would have refreshed for that. So it wasn't too much of a hindrance. Whereas now, with this, it's like... You got battles, events coming out every day, if not every other day, and you've got dinosaurs that take a week to come back. So what do you, you just? It's like I get what Ludi are doing. They're just trying to make it so that you have to pick your battles. Um, but even then, it, like I have to exit out just in case to make sure I win. Because if I lose, then that's that creature used. Creature's gone. I I have to wait like four days for that to come back. So. At the level that I'm at, if you couldn't do this glitch, I don't know if I could continue playing, if I've got to be honest, just because it's so hard. You have to have like five Metrophodons in order to do everything. And that's, you know, including all the other dinosaurs that you've got. Um, or at least like five creatures that are that high level. Um, ooh, that was lucky. Majungasaurus down for the count. Coolosaurus squirms in like a little toad. So we're yep we're gonna we're gonna exit out there. Yep, he went for five. Yep, would have killed us. So we're gonna. Well, I think we'll probably go for like two block four reserves. See what happens. Probably have to exit out again. Then go for the kill. Exit out again. Uh, switch into Jongasaurus. Go for reserves and then finally kill it. So bye -bye. So two out of five. Uh, I'll go for two block four reserves and he's so he's got five. He'll. Those are attacking numbers. He'll definitely go for an attack here. Four to four, anything higher. Yep, there it is. He killed me. So he'll go for one, leaving him with four block. So I'll probably have to go for three, four, five, six, seven even. I'll have to go for like seven attack. And that's seeing if he does go for any blocks. Because if he doesn't go for any blocks, I may as well just reload. Uh, and just go for the minimum amount of attacks. One block and the rest onto reserves. Uh, so one, two, three. Oh, he's dead. Factor in three. And then let's see what he did. There, there you go. Perfect. Um, and then Diplotator comes in. <laughs> and, don't know why he sounded like a crazy mental Popeye there. Uh, we, we're done. That's it. That's the last time we should have to exit out because you'll go for one attack. 
Um, I'll have one block. I'll switch into Jongasaurus, go for all the reserves I can, fodder it off, and then Pterodactylus comes in, and I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill it. I mean, he can only go for four reserves anyway, so that, there it is. And we finally got our legendary pack. Oh, sh no, there's not legendary packs anymore, are there? That's not what the class does. And I can't even, is it legendary strike event? Is, it, is that what it's called? I think it's like strike event, just because depending on your level, that's what kind of card pack you get, I think. I wonder what the, like, the users are for this. Because I'm sure in 2015, this was, like, such a popular game. I wonder if it's, re like, it's still really popular now with Jurassic World Alive. It's always interesting to see how that affects when another game comes out by the same publisher. And, bah, there you go. Beautiful. Ah! Banana beak. Oh, that was Sun Doctors. Golden Rewards, that's it. Golden Rewards, not Strike Event. Coin! Perfect. What a waste of time. 130,000 food would be so much better if it was half a million. Uh, 1,200 DNA, which I guess ain't too bad. And a Urantius, which we can, of course, always sell. And the VIP points. Now, this is the only one that hasn't changed, is the VIP points. But at the same time, it, it really isn't that much. Because if I want one giant orthocone, it's 50 freaking thousand. Um, I think somebody, yeah, yeah, Pterodactylus is now back into the solid gold packs. So I think it's either been nerfed or it's just been put back into there. Uh, I don't know if anything else has also. I'm not sure. Uh, you've also got Rainforest Pavilion and all this jazz, but it's just if you want more of a chance to get some books. So if you get up to 100 with that, but if you use this, up to 100, up to 100, up to 100. So you may as well just get the solid gold, but uh, you, can, you can get two Rainforest Pavilions, I suppose. So if it's, reef, it, sorry, if it's uh, resources you want, you may as well go for, like, that one even. Because it's up to 100 bucks. So you're trading VIP points for it. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Uh, no thank you. Uh, no thank you. Uh, no thank you. Um, no thank you. Uh, no thank you. And... Really? Really? Oh my god, these trades are horrible. Come on, Lydia, man. Fix this. How about the other way around? I don't mind trading 900,000 food for cash. I don't mind trading 800,000 food for 4,000 loyalty points. I don't mind trading 2 million food for DNA. I don't mind trading 5 Horizon Observatories for 2,000 VIP points. I don't mind half a million food for it. Basically, except for that one, I don't mind the opposite. So it that to me tells me that they have deliberately designed this. Do you remember when they first came out and you could trade like 30 million coin for an Indominus? How good was that? I mean, it's 30 or maybe even 50 million coin, but, you know, which is a lot, but if you're high levels, it's really good. And it was like, oh my God, such a good trade. Nowadays, should we, you know what? Maybe we got unlucky. Let's try refreshing for 50 bucks. Let's refresh. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, okay, that's that. I've seen that every now and again. I'll take that. 40 million for 2,000 DNA. I'll do that one. That's a good one. Uh, nope. And, ooh, depending. Because Urantius is like, what, 2,000? Is it 5,000 DNA? That could be decent. And that one. So, one, maybe, maybe two. Out of, what, 10 trades? Two of them were decent. Needs to be some work there, I think. I don't know. But anyway, guys, wow, we're coming up to like 40 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thanks again for all the support. Honestly, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.